So the trees you see down there, those are all um, a native California tree called a California live oak. It's not like the mighty oak trees that those of you from the east or the Midwest or from Europe might think of, but it's a California oak uh, with a little tiny leaf and it's very drought resistant. Now, when Richard Meyer was planting these trees, he, he needed to do a lot of planting to make sure that we had erosion control and uh, fire control. This tree and the poverty weed that grows on the ground are both rather fire retardant. But, um, you know, he wanted it to look natural. But when push came to shove and he had to actually plant the trees, he couldn't just plant them any old way. So he planted them on which was a multiple of the 30 inch by 30 inch grid. And he said, look, I just can't throw them down any old way. Plant them on the grid, and new ones will grow, old ones will die, and pretty soon it'll look natural. So if you look at it, you can still see the remnants of the grid, but it's starting to get a little more natural. Um, let me, a couple, yeah, um, let me ask you, what did you notice as you were walking out here along that catwalk? Hmm? I can't do it Oh, yes, yes, isn't that right? It, it, it gives you the sense of there's nothing between you and the drop, and there isn't. <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> yeah, you're really connected that way. What else? You suddenly come in contact with the freeway. You know, um, maybe you're kind of trying to be a little polite and pretend you don't notice it, like, you know, the, uh, the incredibly tasteless sentences you always But that's the freeway on And Richard Meyer did not try to hide it. In fact, from here and from the southernmost promontory, which I hope you'll visit, because it is a view of the Pacific Ocean you won't believe, um, the promontory, I mean, the um, freeway is inescapable. And the way Richard Meyer looks at that is, this is a Los Angeles uh, version of a river. You know, this, this freeway, the 405, that cuts through the Sepulveda Pass, exactly parallel to the trust axis there, and then when it turns at 22 and a half degrees and runs that way, exactly parallel to the museum axis in the Los Angeles this freeway connects Los Angeles to the world. In that direction, it goes all the way to Canada. And in that direction, it goes all the way to Mexico. So there is no effort to hide it. Far from it. You walk out here just parallel with it. The handrails like reflect the white divider lines on the freeway, and everything focuses your attention. So there you have it. Is it beauty? Well, I will say this. Los Angeles person like myself to see a freeway with cars actually moving. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. It's pretty nice. <laughs> where, where can you get a view of the Getty? You know, you can get good views of the Getty from uh, you know various places. If you go down the Sepulveda uh, to West LA, you can see it up here on the hill from from the freeway. Um, but also there's a hike on the other side of Sepulveda called the Getty Theater Lake. It's a mile or two in the mountains, which is said to have very nice views. Another place to get a great view of the Getty, have you been down in the garden? It's not so appealing today because it's so cold, but it's a beautiful garden. And at the very bottom of it, if you turn around and look up, you see sort of the Getty architecture from inside. In a, in a very different way. 